everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits. Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind... Um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is, all of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi, everyone. It's Jamie Zebra 23 Happy Sunday. So this is going to be Sunday messages for August, Sunday, August 3rd, 2020. So I'm going to use three different decks to get these messages out. This is kind of like the tarot card of the day, but these are Sunday messages for the week upcoming. So let's see, I'm going to use three different decks. I hope everybody out there is doing great and wonderful. So I'm going to pull cards from three different decks. This is like a positivity video. So it's going to be positive messages. I'm using three different Dorian Virtue decks. So let's get started for the collective. Whoa. Wow. Okay, let's see. Okay. So four cards just flew out. So I'm going to, no, five cards. I'm going to take them. So the first one is make a wish, have faith, simplify your life, watch your thoughts, and you have rest. Now let me do the next batch. So these next cards are the um, talking to heaven cards from Dorian Virtue. So yeah so you guys have someone that's passed over a family friends lover okay. first card out is you're never alone although you may not understand everything happens now or Although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. And then you have, I was met by so many loving people. Okay. Okay, this card keeps wanting to come out. I put it back in and I shuffled some more. I put it back in and I shuffled some more. So this is obviously for someone. Whew. Okay. I am sorry, please forgive me. Okay, now let's do a different, now let's do the other deck. And then I'm gonna go one by one each card. So I'm just getting all the cards out. What else for the collective for Sunday, August 3rd, 2024 for the upcoming week? Okay, children. Hello, or goodbye to the to the old, hello to the new. Whom do you need to forgive? Trying to go for one more. Nothing wants to come out. And 
and then you have a debt paid off. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the top. All right, so with the Make-A-Wish card here, let's move this up. Whoa. Okay, let me see if I can get these cards. All right, Make-A-Wish. So it says, this is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. So let's all do that right now. So I'm gonna count to three and then let's do about three seconds to make a wish. So one, two, three. In your head, everybody make a wish. Through Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So this is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. Um, the light just, I don't know if you guys just saw that, but the light just flickered like lightning just now. So whatever wishes you guys just made, it looks like they were very, very powerful. So I would take that as a good omen. I don't know if you guys just saw that lightning flash. Okay, now you have, you are never alone. So for those of you out there that have lost someone, they want you to know that they're always with you and that you're never alone. And then you have children. Your connection with children is a part of your life's purpose. So maybe some of you work with kids, maybe some of you have kids, maybe some of you have even special, because that's something I talk about with other people. Um, I really believe that God gives special needs children to certain people because they know that they need to be in the hands of certain people. Maybe some of you, do, maybe some of you work in a special ed class. Maybe some of you are teachers. Maybe some of you, you know, you work with children on a different level. Maybe you teach meditation. Maybe you're just parents. Maybe you're just a very great aunt or uncle. Whatever this is, your connection with children is a part of your life's purpose. Now we have have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. What, whatever spirit is trying to tell you, it's significant. So make sure you're paying attention. And then you have, although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. Okay, that just, it just did lightning again. That's so weird. I don't know if you guys are able to, to see that. Okay. So everything happens for a reason. So all these topsy turvies, all this stuff, I kind of like to look at it like this, guys. Um, it's like if you're rolling dice. I don't know if you guys remember the game Yahtzee. You put the dice in the cup, you shake it, you shake it, you shake it, and then you throw it out. I feel like the universe puts us back in that Yahtzee cup and shakes it and shakes it until it lands where we need to be. So if some of you are having upheavals, if some of you are having this happen and that happen and you don't understand why and it's like a hamster wheel, it's because the universe isn't done shaking you up and, and tossing you back out. You got to land on a certain spot in order for it to be the right place. So maybe some of you are reluctant to get back in that Yahtzee cup and go for another shake. That's prolonging what needs to be done to get you where you want to be. So now we have goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. So let go of what once was, be, let go of what, what coulda, shoulda, woulda, and move on to what's next for you. Because it's a better part, a new and better life is starting. And then you have simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. I firmly, firmly believe in decluttering. Literally, if you declutter, you're going to feel the energy shift. That's a guarantee. Cleaning out those corners, donating what you don't need, throwing away what's garbage. It literally shifts everything. If you want to do a cleanse of your home, that's one of the best cleanses you can do is to simply clean and declutter. Okay, now we're going to do the next card. I was met by so many loving people. So your loved ones want you to know when they passed on, they were met by so many loving people. They weren't just into nothingness. They were met by so many loving people. And then it says, whom do you need to forgive? 
As you release old anger, resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. I firmly agree with that as well, that um, forgiveness doesn't mean that they didn't do anything. Forgiveness does not mean you have to go skipping along and holding hands with them in the park and giving them a play-by-play -play of your life every day. But what you need to do is let go. I recently talked to somebody. This lady is so nice, but she is so hurt and so broken. She was wrongfully fired because of a rumor. And literally, it's been three years. And it's just like yesterday that she was done wrong. And I just wish so, so much that she could forgive and literally move forward. She's literally punishing herself. You know, and then another thing about karma. A lot of people think karma is the person who did you wrong coming to you and apologizing. That's not karma. That's not karma at all. That's called doing the right thing and not everybody's capable of doing the right thing. Therefore, we have a little thing called karma. See, whether you, whether you admit to wrongdoing or not, whether you're sorry or you're not, is irrelevant. Karma is real. So how she, it's, take, it, it's three years in and she's still so broken over this. The person who did this to her, whatever their karma is, they'll suffer the same fate. They'll have something happen to them that they cannot get over. That they will be three years in and devastated because of. That's how karma works. So, I don't, yo, oh, whom do you need to forgive? So the best thing that anybody can do is say, you know what, that was a bad experience, but everything happens for a reason. Maybe I wasn't meant to be over there. Maybe that was not supposed to be the job for me. Maybe this person did me a favor. It was a horrible thing. It did not feel good, but I need to let it go and move on. And they will think knowing that they will face their karma someday, not meaning they will apologize to me, not meaning that they will give me my job back, meaning karma will do its thing. So now let's move on to the next card, rest. You've been working hard, take a nap and get some rest. Some of you are so mentally and emotionally exhausted that you literally need to turn off the electronics and change your sheets, take a nice shower, crawl into bed and go to sleep for a few days. Not everybody can do that. I understand. I mean, I can't do that. I've got kids. You guys have kids. You have jobs, responsibilities. You, most of us can't do that. But even if you can just go to bed an hour early and get yourself some rest, some of you really, really need to rest. You're, you're mentally and emotionally and physically exhausted. You need to rest. And then we have watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So that's easier said than done, right? Because most of us, we, we go, oh, please don't let this happen. Don't let that happen. No, 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 no. You're manifesting that. My job is secure. I am safe. I am healthy. I am loved. I am successful. That is manifesting. Oh, car crashes and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, that's manifesting. So manifest something positive. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire and not what you fear. Now we have, I am sorry. I am sorry, please forgive me. So somebody that's passed away feels like they owe you an apology. There may have been somebody who's not here on the earth anymore because of something that they did. Maybe they, they're, they're not here because of, you know, something self-inflicted. Maybe they're not here because of drugs, because of over drinking, drinking and driving. It's something that they did, something that they did that they're not here for. So they're saying, I am sorry, please forgive me. Um, the energy I got when I was, I kept putting this back in, but the energy I kept getting, I didn't want to, I didn't want this card to come out, but you know, spirit, spirit wanted this card to come out. Um, I just feel like somebody was gone too soon. 
way, way, way too soon. It wasn't time yet. And they know it. They, they caused a lot of, a lot of trouble. And this caused a lot of trouble. It broke a lot of hearts. Not that any other, any, any other situation with someone passing wouldn't, but it's just, I feel like this is for someone specific. I just feel like too soon. Now let's see. A debt paid off. The old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you in your life. So for some of you, literally you have a windfall of money coming in and you're gonna be, be able to pay off some debts. If some of you are worried how you're gonna pay your rent, how you're gonna pay your, your electricity, how you're gonna come up with money for, for whatever it is that you need, it's saying that you're gonna be able to get that money. Also, this could also be karmic debt. Maybe some of you, a debt is paid off. If you just had nonstop negative things happening, a standstill, you couldn't find love, you couldn't do this, you couldn't do that. Whatever this is, it's a debt paid off. The old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. All right, guys, jamiezebra23.com. Have an amazing Sunday. Um, I hope um, everybody's out there staying positive, healthy, and safe. All right, jamiezebra23.com. Ta-ta for now. Hi, it's jamiezebra23. Sorry to interrupt the reading, but if you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can simply go to the first 30 seconds of this video, and it tells you... Um, where to make a purchase, jamiezebra23.com. It tells you about the same day readings, so you don't have to wait, same day readings. Also an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Plus I've got tons of products on the website for protection, for cleansing, for energetic healing, all sorts of goods on the website, jamiezebra23.com. You simply go to the first 30 seconds of the video and it will explain all of this stuff. No need to email me to ask me if I do personal readings when you can simply go to the first 30 seconds and also the description box says it too. jamiezebra23.com, enjoy the rest of your reading. Hi everyone, it's Jimmy Zebra 23 so I have a fans only account if you guys want to skip over there and um, check it out. It's uh, pretty much for guys, um, it's not that raunchy, but it may be a little bit of fun. Jamie Zebra 23 ta-ta for now.